All right, so this is my sewing machine here. This is the Singer that my wonderful husband purchased for me the year we got married for Christmas. So this machine is nearly 25 years old, but it's still working fine for basic sewing. It's a Singer, and uh, I love it. And if we start doing more um, upholstery type things or things with heavier duty fabrics and threads, we'll probably need to upgrade to a heavier duty machine. But this is gonna work fine for now. upholstery thread that is complementary to the fabric and it's a bit thicker and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it but um, you don't have to you can just get a plain old cotton upholstery thread make sure it's heavy duty and uh, I'm also using my zipper foot at this point because of the uh, for next step that I'm going to be taking it's going to be um, putting the uh, piping on the fabric also my bobbin is Pretty much full so I'm good there so not have to worry about that uh, so one of the worst things is being in the middle of sewing something and then your bobbin runs out uh, before you get to the end of your stitching and uh, that's really frustrating the zipper foot like I said I'm using that for right now and I'll show you why and I'm not going to change it out I'm at the at the moment I'm going to sew end two ends together for my trim around the cushions but I'm not going to change the, the zipper foot just for that I'll show you why it's, it's pretty easy so these are my pieces that um, are going to go around the side of the um, cushion. So I'm just going to take two of them and I'm going to sew them together. And the important thing is, like I mentioned before, we're going to make sure the fabric, the pattern, is facing the same direction. I want to. I don't want to sew it like this because if I do and I open it up, guess what? Your patterns are going opposite directions. That's going to look terrible. So we're going to sew them so that when you open them, the pattern is all facing the same direction. So I'm just going to put my, nothing fancy here, just going to put my selvage edges together and pop it on the machine and just sew a quick one inch, put my glasses on here, one inch stitch. Uh, one inch seam down here. Make sure this is. Now we did a lot for preparation because preparation is really important. You're not going to get a great finished product without good preparation. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm so sorry. Stupid bronchitis doesn't seem to want to go away. Feeling a ton better, just still coughing. So, oh, and pardon me for not having a manicure. It's time to do one tonight, but I wasn't going to do one before I started sewing. So, all right, so I'm going to stitch. This is my one inch here. I'm going to seam guide. Stitch. I'm going to press my back stitch, go back, secure it. And then I'm going to just do my one inch stitch here. Now you could pin these pieces together, but this isn't, I mean, this is such a short seam that I can hold it together pretty good. And I take my time. Some people are whizzes and they just zoom, zoom. The stitching is done. I don't. Because I'm not real confident. I shouldn't say confident. I've never done this and I want to make sure it looks good. Do that my scissors, cut my top and bottom thread. There we go. Cut my top and bottom thread here. I honestly don't know if you're seeing this or not. Alright, and then I'm basically I'm just gonna finger press these this seam open here. And there we go. Alright, so next then comes the piping. And this is what I saw that they did on our previous cushions, 
that um, I think will work really well. I'm looking forward to trying this out. So this is the um, cording or piping or welting. It's all the same thing that I purchased. It's um, for, it's supposed to, it's upholstery, uh, polyester upholstery piping. It comes in different sizes. This is 3 sixteenths that I'm using for uh, our cushions. So let me open this up. Okay, so I've taken it out of the package and I'm going to unwind it here and I'm just going to let this fall on the floor. So basically what they did, they took the piping and instead of making it separate, I have a sample here. Sometimes people make it separate like this and then they sew it in so that when you turn it inside out, you see this piping. Uh, and it works fine. It's a little bit tricky joining it to make it look nice, but what they did on our current cushions is they took it, folded it over, and sewed it right on here. And then when they get ready to sew everything together, they turned it again, so it's automatically just part of the fabric. So I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna give that a try. So I think this is just really cool the way that they did this. So I just want to show you real quick kind of how it's done before we put it on the machine um, because it's kind of hard to see what's going on on the machine, especially when I'm sitting and pinning. So anyway, I have our, um, our piping here and I've pinned it down. All I've done is just put it on the fabric I'm using and folded it over and now I'm pinning it. This is just for the sake of demonstration because what you would do is you would go back and you would actually run this through your machine using the zipper foot and get it as close to the piping as you can to make it nice and tight. And then after that was done, then what you're going to do is you're going to take this whole thing and flip it over to the right side. And you're going to fold this over as such because these pins won't be here because you've already run it over the machine and you're going to straighten this out and then you're going to put move this here because this is going to be the right side of the other piece so you're going to put that there and then you're going to take your other piece and you're going to match up the edges as such. Now this, after it's matched up, this is going to go onto your machine and you're going to stitch it again here. But this way when you stitch it, it's going to be with a zipper foot again, of course, but it's going to be mostly by feel because of course you can't actually see what's going on underneath, but you can certainly feel the piping and you can know that you're getting close. So just for sake of demonstration, I'm just going to pin these so that we can open it up a bit and show you what the idea is when everything is done, how it's supposed to turn out. right here just to, for the sake of demonstration so the idea is that once you've got it all on and you'll do this all the way around you could have a piece long enough to go all the way around so that when you do your corners you can ease your corners in and then when it's finished and you open it up ta-da there's your piping and it's already on there you haven't had to make a separate piece and you haven't had to fiddle with it it's just right there and I think that's awesome. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm actually I'm going to do all of them, the rest of them this way too, because I do think that once this is stitch on, stitched on the machine, it's going to give a much more professional look to the cushions. So that's how they came to us. And so I'm going to try to do it on the new one. see where we get at. Yeah, that's about right. About a half an inch is what I want. Oh, let me rethread this. I have a, a walking foot that I use for thicker fabrics. However, it won't allow me to get the piping done correctly. So I keep losing my tension on this machine because it's not designed for this kind of thing. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want, 
right up against there. And I'm going to want the fabric to come around to be about a half an inch, which is it's about right there. Okay, good. All right. Here we go. See what we get. Mm -hmm. just going to use my seam guide over here as my guide because I obviously can't see this anymore. So I'm just going to make sure it's right there. I'm just eyeballing this, but if you want to, I've got a seam gauge somewhere. I think it's up at my sewing basket here. Ah, ta da! I just clean out my sewing drawer. This is a seam gauge. You can just mark it to where you want. That's a half an inch, and that way you can tell where you are as far as how much. If you've got enough fabric coming over or not, like here for instance, I started out at, yeah, it's a half an inch, and that's not, so you can pull a little more fabric over. There we go. And you can go through and just pin it like that. Basically, I'm going to finish this side. See, this is what you get, the piping here. It's turning out pretty. So I'm going to finish this side. I'm going to do the next side, and then we will put it together with the other two pieces. Cameraman, cameraman. Okay, so I've sewed the piping, or the cord, yeah, the piping, cording, welting, whatever you want to call it, onto the... Um, side pieces here and so I'm going to attach the side pieces to the top and then to the bottom. What I want to do is I want to put um, right sides together but at first I'm going to make sure that they're facing this, facing the same direction. Uh, so this is the pattern, the direction is going away from me and so I want to make sure that when this is attached it's facing in, it's going in the same direction which if I do something like, yeah, if I do it this way, then we're fine. So, I want to flip it over that way. So that when it's sewn and it comes down, it'll be facing the right direction. Now, I'm not starting at the very end because I want to bring this around to the sides here um, so that the um, this is attaching on the um, uh, hooking together on the side so it's not quite right 
in the way that everybody can see. Every, everything looks nice and smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the part where there was piping and I'm going to fold it under. Like so. And I want there to be about a one inch seam. It's a little bit. Yeah, there we go. About a one inch seam. So I'm going to fold it like that. And I'm going to put that together. And here's the piping here. And I'm going to measure again. Yep, about one inch. So I'm going to go ahead, and this time I am going to pin this. And every once in a while, I'm just going to measure to make sure I have everything correct. Okay, so now I'm where I need to make a turn. So, I'm basically just going to, normally you make cuts to make it turn smooth, but I don't think you'd have to do that with this. Huh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You coming to visit me, Dutch? Hi, how are you? Coming to see what Mama's doing? You gonna help me? Hmm? You're doing good, huh? You had a surgery, oh, well, two weeks ago, almost. Wednesday will be two weeks ago, so tomorrow he goes, I mean, no, Tuesday he goes for his, um, appointment for follow-up with the surgeon so hopefully he'll be released for his regular activity so we can start rehabbing him and getting that muscle tone back up good boy that he is all right I'm getting there Dutch came to visit because he wants to see how his new sofa is progressing. Little does he know. He's got his own comfy bed. He can use that from now on. Who am I kidding? I'll be ending up making a cover for... I'll end up making a cover for the sofa so he can lay on it with us. I know. I just know. That's how it's going to go. So, and I have uh, some left over. I knew there would be an overlap here. Um, I planned on that, and I will trim that up and sew it together. I'm just not going to do it now. I don't want to do it until I get this top sewn on um, so I can make sure that everything fits. So what I'm going to do before I actually take this to the machine, here's my bottom here. I'm going to just do a quick 
fit on my cushion here. See what we're looking at. I could also go and just do some basting stitches, um, but then I have to go back and take them out. And I don't want to take the time to do that. So let's see here. So I get that. Figure out something. All right. Huh. And I've still got room here. Room here. I think this is going to work good. Yeah, I feel comfortable. I can take this to the machine and go ahead and get this sewn up. Exciting. Cool. All right, let's get this sewn up. 